Well, I can't seem to win a game of Hearthstone today. So instead, let's look at some flavor text and try to guess which Murder at Castle Nathria card that flavor text comes from. I think I'll do pretty well. I've played like 80% of the cards in the new expansion, so I should be familiar with all of those cards and what they represent. So first up, what if the suspect was framed? What if the murder weapon was a plant? Well, that's probably just planted evidence for Druid, right? I mean, this could also be, like, Murloc Holmes, maybe. But I think planted evidence just makes too much sense. We're going to have to just go ahead and lock in planted evidence. Oh, it was natural causes? Wait, that makes a lot of sense. But what if the suspect was framed? That sounds like planted evidence, right? But the murder weapon being a plant, it does make sense that it would be natural causes. You're not you when you're anima starved. You're not you when you're anima starved. So this could be anima extractor for warrior. This could be sin fueled golem. It could really be anything with infuse, right? Surely Sire Denathrius has something a little bit more elaborate than this. I think it's, I probably just want to lock in anima extractor since it says anima right there on the card. Or right there in the flavor text. Insatiable Devourer. I mean, like I said, that really could have been anything with Infuse. I just, uh... Just like all the games I played today, I simply got unlucky. Alright, 0 for 2. But we're gonna get this one right. He's not hungry for food. He's starving for attention. This could be Famished Fool. Who else would be starving for attention? I think I just want to lock in Famished Fool. It was Famished Fool. All right, all right. One out of three. That's pretty good. That's better than my actual win rate in Hearthstone today. All right, let's keep it up. What type of vial library has zero vials in it? I bet, I bet, 95%, I bet this is vial library. Two and two, baby. 50% win rate. Oh, we're killing it. We're killing it. We're killing it. Looks like Kel'Thuzad is borrowing some of Mr. Bigglesworth's nine lives. Well, I don't want to jump the gun, but this could be Kel'Thuzad. But what else could it be? What other mage cards are there? There's Deathborn. Wait, could this be Deathborn? Kel'Thuzad's on Deathborn, isn't it? This could be Deathborn. What else does Mage have? They have Cold Case. They have Sanctum. I don't think it's either of those. Frozen Touch. Suspicious Alchemist. Solid Alibi. Oh, then there's Secret Stuff. There's Orion. Vengeful Visage. And Chatty Bartender. I don't think it's any of those. So it should be Kel'Thuzad or Deathborn. Is it any of the neutral cards? It could also be a spell from another class, but I think if it's a spell from another class, I'm just never going to get it. I think it's going to be Deathborn. It could be Kel'Thuzad. Deathborn. Ugh, it's fucking... Oh my god, it's Kel'Thuzad. I just thought borrowing lives, stuff is dying. Why does this say... How does this even make sense? Because he's a skeleton? He's always a skeleton. God damn it. You heard about Kael'thas. That's messed up, right? Okay, so I did learn something recently. And that's Scuttlebutt Ghoul. So Scuttlebutt is a real word. And it means, like, rumors. Something like that. So this could be Scuttlebutt Ghoul because this is a rumor. I don't think this would just straight up be Kael'thas, right? There's just no way. It's straight up Kael'thas. I'm trying to think of what other card would be, like, kind of gossipy. I can't really think of anything. It's hard to just, like... I don't have a list of cards in front of me, so it's hard to just, like, go through everything and see if something makes sense. So since I latched onto Scuttlebutt Ghoul so, just, like, immediately, I think I just have to lock it in and hope it's right. It's just Kael'thas? 
This happened the last time I did a thing like this. It said Neptalon in the fucking flavor text. I thought it was something other than Neptalon. Then Kelthazad, Kelthos back to back. If if a character's name is in the flavor text, I'm just guessing that it's the character. This is ridiculous. I also want to say this is terrible flavor text for this card. Surely you can come up with something better. Blanche was said to be an affectionate and well-behaved horse in life. How she ended up in Revendreth were too afraid to ask. So it's a dead horse. What card is a dead horse? I'm actually just totally drawing a, br a blank. This is going to be some random, like, neutral common, probably. I actually just don't know, though. It was Sunrunner. I literally was just 10 minutes ago playing a deck with Sunrunner in it. And I couldn't remember this. To be fair, I didn't know that Sunrunner was a horse. I thought it was just some sort of some sort of monstrosity. I did say it was going to be a random neutral common though, didn't I? So half a point. Look. I just want to know what kind of monster put raisins in this. Raisins, food, priest of the deceased. This honestly doesn't really strike me as a priest of the deceased line, but nothing else is coming to mind. I don't know. Lock it in. Priest of the deceased. Buffet big in. That is related to food. Sometimes a blue thumb is better than a green one. Sounds like druid, because green thumb refers to plants. And it's not natural causes. Why would it be a blue thumb, though? There's the, like, three-card death rattle package. There's the thing that summons five-five treants. Natural causes, planted evidence, convoke. Nightshade bud, topior. And Widow Bloom Seedsman? Could this be Widow Bloom Seedsman? He's blue, isn't he? Widow Bloom Seedsman. Lock it in. Yes! Let's go. Oh, I needed that dub. Oh, he is blue. Let's freaking go. Stag, you're it. Okay, this is the Hunter card. It deals three damage. It makes a wild seed. What is it called? Stag Charge? Stag, it's Stag Charge, right? It's just Stag Charge. Stag Charge, let's go two in a row. Oh my God, we're bringing it back. They're dancing to one of Rin's demonic symphonies. Her music might not be famous now, but just you wait. It should be Shadow Waltz, right? Rin is a warlock legendary from eons ago. Dancing to music, it's just Shadow Waltz. Warlock card. Three in a row, baby. Yes. It's the gift totem that keeps on giving totems. Party favor totem. It's party favor totem. Wait, I'm actually sick at this. I just got so unlucky, like four times in a row. But I'm actually, I'm actually sick at this. Funnel cakes. I haven't heard of those in years. I haven't had those in years. Excuse me. This is Priest of the Deceased, because Priest of the Feast talks about funnel cakes. Let's go, dude. I I can't be stopped now. I can't be stopped. I was just getting screwed at the beginning. And hey, we're probably about halfway through the video. If you're enjoying it so far, or honestly, even if you're not, uh, go ahead and take the opportunity to scroll down and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and also not like this. Alright, next up. It's a great plot, but it's riddled with holes. This is the Druid card. It makes Treants. If it's infused, they're 5-5s, five and they're also not Treants. They're three spirits or something? I, it's, it's Plot of Sin. Plot of Sin, baby. Plot of Sin. They're Ancients. Ancients when they're 5-5s. Five no, Blizzard... No. Blizzard? No. Blizzard? Okay, I don't know what this is. 
I mean, Blizzard obviously is a mage card, but it's also the name of the company that makes the game. But let's start with mage cards. It's not Kel'Thuzad. Uh, Cold Case. I don't think it's any of the mage cards. I don't know what this is. I think it's probably a spell. It just kind of sounds like a spell. Wait, is it any of the secrets? Kidnap, double cross, sticky situation. Uh, it does kind of sound like it would be a secret. Vengeful visage. I don't think any of those make that much sense, though. It could be double cross, like, no, it was you all along, Blizzard. But I don't think that's a good flavor text for double cross. I really don't want to break my streak, but I have no clue what this is. Deathborn, because while it is a six mana spell that deals two, it's no blizzard. I've seen this flavor text before. Oh man. I I would have never gotten this though. I forgot this card existed. It's actually a good flavor text too, because Riot is a different company. This company is Blizzard. It's party time. P-A-R-T-Y? Because I gotta. I don't know what this is. We already went through party favor totem. That has the word party in it. Well, I was confident the last one was a spell. I'm pretty confident this one's a minion. So that helps. Wait, this could be party crasher? That's a card. I think it's Party Crasher. Party Crasher makes a lot of sense to me. Okay, Masked Reveler, sure. I didn't get that, you didn't get that. Let's not pretend you got that, and let's just move on. Holds Sire Denathrius's most prized possession is Teddy Bear. Jeremy Baramy. What would hold a possession? I did say earlier that if it has a card's name in the flavor text... I'm going to just guess that, but there's no world where this is Sire Denathrius' flavor text. Oh, this is Relic of Dimensions, because it's a box, and if you were to put a possession inside of something, it would be a box. Relic of Dimensions. <laughs> Relic Vault. I forgot locations existed. I got not only the right class, but I got the right archetype that's that's pretty good right that's pretty good okay next up we have enrage is all the rage so this should be a warrior card maybe if you started playing hearthstone recently you didn't know this but the effect that says you know like when damaged do something used to be called enrage and that was a very warrior type keyword so would this be Anima Extractor. I don't think so. What is the little charge minion called? Enrage is all the rage. It's Crazed Wretch. Crazed Wretch makes a lot of sense. Is it the weapon? Probably not. I don't think it's Sanguine Depths. It's not the pirate. It's not Riot. Remornia. I think it's just Crazed Wretch. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Really good at stay. So I interpret this as like a dog command. Like, stay. And if it's really good at it, then maybe it's like a statue or something? Is there a dog statue in the set? Is it Stonebound Gargon? That's kind of a dog. What are the other Stonebound cards? There's General and Accuser. I think that's it. There's also that neutral gargoyle that's like roosting gargoyle or something. I don't love any of those as guesses. Stonebound Gargon seems like a pretty good, pretty good guess because it's also like a hunter card and hunter, you know, like beast and dog, etc. Probably doesn't make sense for it to be any of the wild seed cards. All right, I've run through all the cards I can think of. I'm going to say it's Stonebound Gargon. The Hunter 4 minute 3 5 thing, if that's not what it's called. Let's go. I wasn't sure if it was enough of a dog, but it's kind of a dog, so we got there. And if you look to your left, you'll see an even larger statue of Sire Denathrius, 
Okay, this for sure is a reference to Jade Golems being an even larger man. For sure. You'll see an even larger statue of Sire Denathrius. So this is Relic of Phantasms, locking it in. It can't be anything else. It's Maze Guide. But the Relic of Phantasms, it's like you make a big thing and it just it keeps getting larger and larger when you played other relics. I mean, I guess they're kind of more like ghosts than statues of Sire Denathrius. But to be fair, there was no world where I actually guessed Maze Guide, so I guess it's better that I just didn't waste time on it. If you drink Muck, you go to the Maw before you die. Uh, Muck Plumber? That's the 5-5 five five that makes minions cost more, right? Muck Plumber? It says Muck in the text. Nice, 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 nice. Thank God for that keyword, because I completely forgot this card existed until I was reminded of the word muck. Okay, this is a lot of text, so without reading it at all, I'm going to guess it's probably a legendary. Valera revealed herself to be a double agent, at which point Maev felt comfortable revealing that she also was a double agent. And then Scabs announced to everybody that get this, he was a double agent. Okay, well, it's obviously a rogue card because Valera, Maev, and Scabs. Uh, I think it's probably double cross though, right? Probably not a legendary. What are the legendaries in rogue? Necrolord Draca and Halkaius. There's no way it's either of those. It's got to just be double cross, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a double, double, double cross. A glaive is a glaive, but a mystery box could be anything. It could even be a glaive. Okay, now this could be Relic of Dimensions. I mean, it's talking about glaives. Demon Hunters really like glaives, right? It's not Relic of Extinction. It's not Relic of Phantasms. We already saw Relic Vault. It's probably not Zymox. Crixus. Bibliomite. Dispose of Evidence. Magnifying Glaive. I mean, Magnifying Glaive is a glaive, but I don't think this makes sense for Magnifying Glaive. I don't know. It's got to be Relic of Dimensions, right? Relic of Dimensions. Relic of Dimensions is a box. I'm just saying, you could fit a teddy bear in there. You could fit several teddy bears in there. I think Denathrius should reconsider where he stores his teddy bears. For VIPs only, very infused person. This, I don't know. It says infused... But it kind of sound it doesn't really sound like a minions flavor text. Because it's four VIPs, so it sounds like more of an object. I guess it could be a room, so I should go through the locations, right? Hedge maze? Probably not. We already saw Relic Vault. What is the hunter location called? Kennels, Castle Kennels. That's not for persons at all. Nightcloak Sanctum? Maybe. Uh I'm I'm going to be honest, I don't know what the word sanctum means, but you could probably put a very infused person in it. The paladin location is called... Oh, it's like a dining hall or something, isn't it? What is the paladin location called? Priest location is cathedral. There's muck pools, via library, sanguine depths. What is the rogue location called? Sinstone graveyard. It's probably not that. I think this is the Paladin location. I don't remember what it's called, though. Great Hall? Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Nightcloak Sanctum. What does Sanctum mean? No, not the fucking movie. It has a 5.9 on IMDb, and you're showing me the movie before the freaking definition. A sacred place, especially a shrine within a temple or church. That doesn't sound like something that should be for VIPs. I think, you know what? I think this flavor text is better on Great Hall than it is on Nightcloak Sanctum. So I'm going to take that as a moral victory. Sending mail via steward is so old school. Is it steward the steward? Should I avoid getting baited? How else do you send mail? It's just steward the steward, right? 
It says steward right there. Is there like undead postal worker or something in this set? I don't think so. It's just steward the steward. Invitate, dude, this is not a real card. I've never played this card. You've never played this card. I'm pulling up HS Replay to prove that no one has ever played this card. This card is in 0.2% of decks. This is not a real card. Well, either way, that's all the flavor text for today. How did you do? I started off pretty weak, but my middle was really solid, so I don't think anyone did better than me. And hey, if you did worse than me, then I think you're obligated to subscribe to the channel because you will gain knowledge from watching the daily uploads of someone so proficient in Hearthstone.